Hey guys, this is Neo V. In this video, I want to talk about how, how insulin, high insulin, spiking your insulin, and hyperinsulinemia causes Peyronie's disease. Um, not just diabetes, not just prediabetes, but pre-prediabetes, which is too much insulin, or even just insulin itself. When I got di when I got Peyronie's, I also got prediabetes symptoms, severe neuropathy in my face, hands, and feet. My dad has Peyronie's, he has a numb penis, completely numb feet, and I had the same problem. My dad also has Dupuytren's, which is the scarring of the pinky finger usually, which is basically Peyronie's of the hand. Guys with Peyronie's also tend to have Dupuytren's. And people with diabetes also tend to have Peyronie's. People with diabetes also tend to have Dupuytren's. In fact, just last year, there was a study that showed that 50%, or like 49%, actually, according to the study, of people with Dupuytren's also had diabetes. And this is a big deal because diabetes is when your blood sugar reaches a really, really high, uh, it's like an end stage hyperinsulinemia. And what we know now is that the body is damaged by hyperinsulinemia and too much insulin in the body before blood sugars even rise. So people with, um, people who end up with diabetes and they, their retina is damaged, right? They can't see that well. Their hearts are damaged. Every organ in their body is damaged. But that started to occur before they even had rising blood sugar levels. So research is really looking at this now about how insulin itself and too much insulin is causing organ damage. It does this by um, through a number of mechanisms. But when we talk about Peyronie's, you have to understand that too much insulin or just spiking your insulin, insulin itself causes TGF beta to rise in smooth muscle cells. Well, the penis is made of smooth muscle cells. So if you eat a piece of bread, your insulin rises. You have some rice, you have some sugar, you spike your insulin, even if you don't have diabetes yet. And that insulin is creating more TGF beta receptors in your penis, okay, and, and making more TGF beta which causes Peyronie's disease. TGF-beta is the molecular cause, if you will, of Peyronie's. It's the cytokine that causes scarring. And people with diabetes have scarring of their um, kidneys, scarring of their hearts, and um, their whole vascular system. Every, everything becomes damaged, even their skin. Everything ages because of blood sugar, having too much blood sugar, but also because of having too much insulin in their body. And um, research on this is really picking up. This is getting a lot of attention these days. And Peyronie's is no exception. And we really, really need to be looking at Peyronie's as a metabolic um, problem, or at least something that occurs with metabolic problems. Because we've known for so long now that people with diabetes tend to get Peyronie's. And now that we know more about diabetes and how insulin works, how we need to lower insulin, not you know, take insulin via injection, um, we know that uh, we have to avoid it. So what happened to me when I was 24, I got severe nerve pain um, in my hands and feet and face. My Half my face would go numb and I wouldn't even be able to uh, walk or talk. I went to the ER because I couldn't even speak. I was shaking. And uh, all I wanted was sugar. And what, you know, all my life, all I had eaten was whole wheat. Um, I loved quinoa. I loved... Uh, whole wheat bread. I loved brown rice. That's all I would eat with like fish and broccoli. My diet was perfect. Um, but little did I know I was actually repeatedly spiking insulin, spiking my blood sugars and basically killing myself. And unfortunately, that's what the modern human is doing on a daily basis. Bread, rice and pasta are not natural um, at all. Yet we continue to eat it and suffer from all these problems heart disease, cancer, and Alzheimer's are all linked to too much insulin. Alzheimer's is called diabetes type 3 now. Uh, cancer is now being researched as a metabolic disease. It's not genetic. Heart disease is now being looked at as a, a problem of too much insulin in the body. It's not caused by too much fat in the diet or cholesterol in the diet. Um, there's a reason why the FDA is removing calories from fat from food labels. It's all caused by carbohydrates and the insulin response, not even necessarily the blood sugar response, but the insulin response. So if you want to really get tested for insulin problems or, or really early, uh, early diabetes problems, a blood sugar test won't even help you. Uh, you need a fasting insulin test or an insulin test after you eat. 
But for me, um, you know, I had so much, so many problems in my 20s um, with all this nerve pain and Peyronie's and, you know, um, getting so tired and dizzy without eating sugar and almost passing out that I, I got all these uh, tests done finally, uh, brain scans, blood work, and it turned out my blood sugar was a little bit high. So, of course, I uh, Googled it and it turns out my blood sugar was pre-diabetic. And I went down this whole rabbit hole of researching this shit. And it turns out, yeah, you can have a, a so-called healthy diet and be fit and lean and still have diabetes or insulin problems, which basically diabetes is the end stage insulin or hyperinsulinemia. Too much insulin eventually leads to what's called diabetes, which is uh, when your blood sugar gets really damn high. And unfortunately, it's before the diabetes diagnosis, before your blood sugar even reaches that level, the damage starts to, to occur through in every organ of your body. And Peyronie's is no exception. Uh, as I said, uh, insulin directly increases TGF beta. It directly increases ROS, reactive oxygen species. It directly increases inflammation and therefore hypoxia and fibrosis. There's plenty of research on this. Um, having high blood sugar puts you at risk for any organ damage. And we really need to focus on Peyronie's. Um, especially when I look at my dad who has Peyronie's, when I look at myself and my symptoms with insulin and my problems, uh, I think, you know, there's, there's a huge link here. And um, for me, I managed to reverse all my insulin resistance problems. Um, and I had a lot. I was having panic attacks every day. I uh, just couldn't sleep, hands burning, face numb. I couldn't feel my neck. I'd pinch my neck. I couldn't feel it. I couldn't feel anything. I couldn't feel my lips or my hands. Um, you know, I, I was having a very hard time. And once I stopped eating carbohydrates, I completely eliminated all of that. Um, not only that, but it, I became more social, which is really funny because now the ketogenic diet is being studied on autistic children. It makes them more social. It makes rats, autistic rats, more social with other rats. And for me, when I'm just eating this kind of high fat, low carb diet, I'm just more social. I'm happier. My hands don't hurt. Uh, it's really been a miracle for me. I've been on the ketogenic diet for about uh, eight months or longer, and it just saved my life. I lost so much body fat, um, and my Peyronie's is better than it's ever been in my life. So for me, the best treat treatments for Peyronie's are traction by hand, which is free, low-carb diet, that's free also, and um, abstaining from sex or not having sex too much and doing it in the right way. Okay, That's free too. So, um, you know, I, I really think Peyronie's is a, a disease of modernity, of modern living, sitting on the computer, eating carbohydrates, masturbating to porn, sitting down. And uh, obviously, there's a genetic component to Peyronie's. But we can't just look at the genetics. We have to look at the epigenetics. We have to look at what you're eating and doing. And I really don't think um, I would have ended up with Peyronie's if I would have had this low-carb diet from the start. Um, so I highly recommend you look into this and if you have any body fat on you whatsoever and you have Peyronie's, uh, like if you have any stomach fat and Peyronie's, um, you know, I don't know how to say this, but you, you have nothing else to do, but to lose that fat. You have to lose your body fat or your Peyronie's will never get better. Um, there's just too much inflammation that's contained in your fat. And obviously that's a sign of insulin resistance and hyperinsulinemia. So um, I see pictures of guys with their Peyronie's and I see they have a lot of stomach fat. And I'm just thinking, you have to get rid of it. I mean, your, your, your Peyronie's cannot get better if you're fueling your body with, with too much insulin and blood sugar. That's what's causing the inflammation. That's what's causing the rise in TGF beta and increase in TGF beta receptors in your penis, in your entire body. Um, obviously there's got to be somebody on a ketogenic diet, a perfect diet, zero carbohydrates that like would somehow have Peyronie's under some condition. Maybe, but maybe not, you know, I, I don't even know. Um, we don't have that information, right? But I, I highly recommend that you, you try this. Um, you got to be careful. You got to consult with a doctor, I guess, you know, you have to, um, I'm not a doctor. You got to be careful. Changing your diet abruptly is, you know, can really mess you up. Um, you got to be pretty careful. Um, I actually went through a kind of hard time getting fat adapted and switching to the, the keto diet. 
and I can make a video on that another time. And also you got to be very weary of things like refeeding syndrome, which you can die from. If you stop eating carbohydrates or fast for a long time and then suddenly eat a lot of carbs, like a bunch of pizza, uh, you can die from that. It messes up your electrolyte balance and something gets off and you can die. And I had um, some really bad symptoms when I actually tried eating pizza again after a long uh, period of being in, um, in ketosis. So it's very dangerous um, to, to do that. But keto itself is very safe and you ought to research it yourself. My Peronis has been better than ever since I got on this diet. Flaccid, I have like no curve anymore. And uh, my, as I said, my nerve pain is gone. I have so much energy. But even when I barely sleep, I'm wide awake. I have so much energy. Um, I have better erections in the morning. Uh, my, my Peronis is, you know, basically gone and I'm not even doing traction that much anymore. So for me, uh, as I said, diet, low insulin, treat insulin as enemy number one, do traction by hand, be careful, and then uh, alter your sexual habits. That's how I've cured the disease for me. Um, and I'll continue to do this for the rest of my life. I'm not going to be eating bread, pasta, or potatoes, or rice ever again in my life, except for maybe really, really, really small amounts. Um... I expect to keep making videos on this topic because for me, being um, on the ketogenic diet has really just changed my entire life. Um, it basically saved me and took me out of a decade of, of pain, emotional pain, uh, you know, and very physical, the real physical pain. So I'll make more videos on this, but for now, I just want you to know that um, blood sugar, even slightly higher than normal, or hyperinsulinemia, which you can't even really test for that easily, are at the root cause of Peyronie's. They are intimately related to Peyronie's and you are not safe from it no matter what you, you think, unless you are seriously avoiding raising your insulin. So let me know what you think. I'll make more videos on, the, on this in the future and I'll talk to you guys soon. I'll be making a lot more videos in the future uh, relatively soon as well. Take care.